Shador and Travis are extreme talents. Uh, probably two top ten picks in the draft, I would assume. I might have gone overboard, but truthfully, they are great players. Yeah, they're they're incredible. Shador, he's you know, he's if he actually had some talent around him other Ooh. than one or two or three guys, uh, he could very easily throw for forty five hundred, five thousand yards, and truthfully go down as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in yep. college. 45, 40, 40, 40, 40, he's gonna go. It's not people. Be red junkies. Day by day, day by day, he is better than me. He is better than me. He is better All right, we wanted to get Matt in here for the end of this show as we make our picks. With... He's calling from his cell at the uh, penitentiary. Yeah, from yeah from his cell. <laughs> he stuck his cell phone in under the bed. Um, no, Matt, where are you right now? Uh, I am out currently in Port St. Joe, Mexico Beach area in Florida. You there bragger. You You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but it is going to be... Uh, it doesn't suck, probably, it's about, right? It's about 85 degrees. The The beach is warm. The water's warmer. It's phenomenal. So <laughs> you're so you're bringing the lovely weather back with you for, for Saturday, I hear. Yeah, I'm just bottling it up, put it in a jar. You're landing You're landing what time on Saturday? Uh, you know, I have to check. It'll be right around game time. There you go. There you go. Well, on Saturday, it is going to be beautiful weather. Um, I, I know that the high for Saturday is 84, but I'm pretty sure game time is supposed to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about 75. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be 70s. absolutely beautiful by the time uh, everybody's packing in a Memorial Stadium to celebrate this victory. Uh, but I'm saying victory because uh, even ESPN's analytics are predicting Nebraska a 60.1% chance of winning. Uh, that's higher than our Purdue percentage that's higher than our Rutgers percentage that's higher than our USC Iowa Wisconsin all those games we are projected lower than this game to win so if you're a person who thinks Nebraska is going to get seven eight nine wins on the season as I do uh, as many people do or ten like like me (laughs) um, we got to win this game yeah the spread on this Vegas Vegas definitely uh, assumes that Nebraska is going to be winning this game they put a spread of a touchdown and and a half a point on here. It's minus seven, seven and a half Nebraska. The over under is set at 58 and a half. Money line is minus Oof. 270 for Nebraska. That's that's some solid, solid confidence in the Nebraska Cornhuskers winning this game. I, for one, am gonna, gonna take Nebraska with the points. Um, I think that we win this game somewhere in the neighborhood of like. I think I said earlier today, thirty-one to seventeen or thirty-one twenty-four, something like that. But I really do think it's closer to that, like thirty-seven to forty-one range for us, and maybe like twenty-one to twenty-four for Colorado. Okay, Matt, what do you got? Well, I think that this is going to be the game where we finally see Matt Rule affect. In full display on the team, they're going to have their heads right. They're going to be there ready to just fucking dominate. Uh, obviously, Vegas thinks that we're going to be seeing a lot of scoring, and I think that as well. Uh, so I'm taking Nebraska for the win, but I'm not going to take them with the points. I'm going to take Colorado with the points, losing by um, six-ish points. I'm going to guess it'll be around 34, 35 Nebraska and 28 Colorado. Wow. Nice. Um. So initially, I told a couple of people at a family function on Labor Day. Um, by the way, he did not show up for the family function. Stephen Allen, this one's for you. Um, that I kind of think that the first team to 30 is going to win this game. Um, I could see possibly t- both teams getting to 30. But at the same time, every time I say that, I'm like, with Nebraska's defense, I just don't know how Colorado gets to 30. But they are also very explosive. I mean, they're yeah. they're a good offensive team. So I kind of think that if either team gets to 30, the first team to 30 is going to win this game. Um, I would take the under on the point total first and foremost. Um, because I think that when somebody gets to 30, they, the other team might 
might barely get to 20 because they're going to be like pressing a little too much. Sure. And I don't think that they get to that over under total. And I'm, I'm going back and forth on the point spread because I'm hearing from a couple of people that I respect and admire that, Oh, it's going to 10, 10 plus points specifically like Michael severe. He has a certain formula that he does and he has it like initially he had it as like an 18 point game for Nebraska. Yeah, I just don't know. I like I struggle to fully embrace that. I love that thought process, by the way. But at the same time, it's like uh, I just yeah. again, I'm scared of the explosiveness of Colorado's offense. I get our defense, but at the same time, I'm obviously taking a Nebraska win because fuck Colorado, mainly their fans. Um, the point spread, I'm not 100 percent sold on, so I I don't really have a play one way or the other. But no. Nah. We send Colorado back with a loss, and we can say, kiss our ass on the way out the state. <laughs> so you're not going to fuck with the point spread? No. All right. Um, over, under on that, I'm going to go I'm gonna go over just simply because I think that we're going to be explosive enough, and they are going to score at least two touchdowns. Um, and Like I said, I see us getting close to that 40 mark. It's only going to take them getting to 20 in order to get over. So I, I think that I'm if, doing it. I think that if we get over 30... And they are semi struggling. I think we run the ball to run the clock out. There we so go. So that's why I'm. That's one of the big reasons why I'm taking the under. Any parting words, Matt? Fuck Colorado. Go Big Red. Could Jed? Have, couldn't have said it better myself. Jed, anything else? <laughs> I just said couldn't have said it better myself. Other other than that, I will just let my shirt do the talking. By the way, Dion, bring it. And I would say it to your face. And this may be the most unbelievable night in Cornester football history.